Hi, welcome back, Pokemon Go players, to another episode of the Purify Podcast. Today is November 21st, 2021. I am your host, Luis Palacios, with my co-host, Chris. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? It's your boy, Pokemon Trigger, please. Uh, definitely another exciting week of Pokemon Go uh, news and, uh, you know, your daily chat. Yes, <laughs> we had a, a definitely a grindy, grindy uh, week this week for sure. Too many things to cover. Uh, a lot of recaps speak, uh, from most of it. Uh, I'm just, uh, I myself, I'm tired because I literally been up since I don't know seven or something. And just get ready, things ready for community day and other things that we wanted to do today. Well, technically, it was literally all about community day, but I was out all day, so it's just yeah. It's a grind, man. The one thing, though, today was actually very good in terms of weather. So I really didn't have to kill myself in the sunlight or anything like that. It was nice and cloudy. Uh, a little bit rainy or, like, sprinkles of rain every now and then. But it wasn't, like, yeah. too bad or anything like that. So it was spritz. Yeah. So And the wind. The wind was fantastic, even with the rain in between. So uh, not too bad of a day, but a lot of grind this week, definitely. So... We're here once again to talk about Pokemon Go news, updates, and ranting about the game because we love the game, just as much as you do. Let's not forget to remind everybody we are part of the Professor Network. Please check us out, professornetwork.com slash podcast. Have wonderful people to work with every single time. They grind as hard as we do in many different aspects, so check them out whenever you can. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Uh, so let's go ahead and recap. We got a, a couple of things to recap this week, definitely between Community Day, the final event haul that we have, and our shiny and Hondo. So, Chris, what did you got for me today? Me trying to catch this Chris Elia and go battling. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I guess, um, should I go I'll just, first? I'll just back out of it. <laughs> no, that's alright. Oh, okay. He'll be waiting for me, or she will. Um, I guess. I don't think there's a gender. Different than that. Yeah, it, sh- it should just be a female for Chris Elia. Um, well, we got some fun ones, honestly, this week, because uh, this new event's been pretty kind. Um, you guys know I wanted to get the shiny Dawn hat Piplup. That was my goal. Uh, we still got time, but uh, I didn't get one Piplup. I'm sorry. The event is over. Oh, <laughs> so about that, guys, I didn't get one Piplup, I got two of the wrong hat, I got Lucas hat shinies. Really? I Piplup. thought you actually got both of the Donham ones. And, um, it, it, no, no, I wish. Uh, and then, um, I actually got a hundo Don hat, uh, Piplup from a research, so I did actually get a hundo this week. Hey. Um... And then I hatched a bunch of seven kilometer eggs, uh, and I was able to hatch a, a shiny Bonsley. I think that was like my second one. Um, and I got a Don Hat uh, Turtwig, and I was like, "Oh, maybe I'll get the Chimchar too." Uh, maybe nope. <laughs> uh, and then um, I was hatching a bunch of seven kilometer eggs during Calm Day. And I was able to get a shiny Rylou first one, so I was very excited about nice, that. Nice, And then um, I got the uh, the Calm Day shinies. I only got five uh, Shinx, but I got a pretty good one for uh, PvP in uh, Great League and Ultra League, so I'm pretty happy. Let me ask you then, did you clear your storage when Community Day started? You know, I was thinking about extra large candies, but I was also at work, so I... I didn't really uh, get to delete everything I wanted to. I really should have focused on uh, on legendaries more. Yeah, well, yes, and you know, and the end of the day, it was just kind of nice. Um, some people were having good luck with that. Some people were not having good luck with the extra large candy. They did state that it was only a four times chance of getting extra large candy from a from a transfer. So it wasn't like guarantee number number of watts. Mm-hmm. Um, but other people were thinking Still, that, those like, odds are amazing. They were, yeah, they were actually amazing. Well, I mean, I didn't care. I did my trick and literally transferred like over two hundred Pokemon's 
plus legendaries and everything, so I know I, I trusted quite a bit of them. So I was actually kind of happy because I was getting... Um, I was literally at cap by the time community day started. So I, li yeah, I, I it wasn't transferring. Lewis was at cap. Yeah, I, I literally said, unheard of. I'm going to keep everything I can until then. And luckily, I was able to just had enough. Like I only transferred the things that in one like half extra large candies for, and then just kept the ones that I did. So surprisingly enough, I did get quite a bit of extra large candies. Um, for a lot of Pokemons. One of the Pokemons, notably, uh, for some reason, I actually have enough extra large candies for a uh, max out Darkrai, which I know I was a little yeah. bit off, so it wasn't too bad, but uh, I had just enough, the 296 extra large candy for it. Uh, as for everything else, when I actually transferred all my Shinx, Lord have mercy, I got so many. <laughs> oh, Lord, that was crazy. Uh, but to recap on the whole, and let's start with shinies. Actually, gonna go down a little bit here because I got quite a bit of uh, shiny shinks here. They so let me get this my my story on sh uh, on uh, community today. Um, my very first twenty minutes into the game, I got seven shiny shinks. <laughs> Insane. So I was like, okay, it's gonna be one of those come days, isn't it? I could have actually got it way more than I expected to be, but you know. <laughs> Uh, so to start off the week and the event for uh, the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl release, the very first day I actually got a Shiny Chimcha with a Dawn hat from the Research Quest. So actually I was happy about that. Got at least one of those Shinies, you know. Uh, I wanted the Piplup yeah, just like cutie. Chris. But, you know, Shiny is a Shiny, so it's not too bad. Next, I hatched a Shiny Badoo, which is my third Shiny Badoo that I get so far. Uh, crazy enough, of course, but, you know, with Come Day, with Rosalia, it doesn't really change anything in that regard. And then... Oh, could be. That's a good... Drowsy. Ah. Drowsy, thank you. <laughs> um, I actually hatched myself out also a shiny Ryolu, so I'm actually happy about that. I will tell you how many eggs I hatched this week in just a moment, but that you're probably going to, like, you know, kill me because I probably gotta get it more if I didn't actually go out of my way to go back home before come the end it. Uh, so that's you my hatch more. I would hatch more eggs if I didn't actually, you know, went home an hour early from come day. Oh, so, it's true, true. Yeah. So I'm uh, on, like my last four. I know, right? <laughs> and last four seven uh, k eggs too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yo, I I capped. I capped the the gift and the eggs every single day of the event. Like Nothing no lie, goes. I literally had at least three batches. Almost okay, it's mo it was mostly two and a half since eggs were not really guaranteed at the time. So mm -hmm. two and a half uh, batches of eggs were mostly my cap every single day, and I make sure I was empty-handed by the time I had uh, the next day came in. So when I wake up, I check. I had no eggs. I was like, okay, let's go ahead and cut and, and stack them up. Get ready for the next one, you know? So, <laughs> so I was like hatching like crazy. Plus, of course, we had the bonus of one uh, half distance on eggs and one third distance on super incubators too. So Love it. I was amazing. It was amazing. So to continue on, I go plus a shiny tortoise with a hat, with a dawn hat. Uh, probably a couple of days before come day. So that's actually pretty nice. And then community day happened level today. Level one too. Yeah, level one too. That was actually happy about that. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of collection is. Oh, what are we getting? Oh, uh, Mr. Mod. Ah. Are you I didn't hatch as many Mr. Mods at the end, actually. Oh, I hatched quite a bit of them. I could probably check my decks for that. Another one. Another one. Ooh. Yeah, I should have. I should have like three more. I think. Ooh. Okay. Let's continue seeing Chris here. He gets a Badoo. Badoo. Not shiny Badoo. Badoo. How do you do? How do you do? Dude, if you get a shiny Ryolu, I'm going to kill you right now. I, a second one? Nah, they're going to have Mega Lucario, and then uh, I'll probably hunt as shiny then. Happy. Happy is another one I really wanted. Yeah, no, that's another one that I couldn't get a hunt off or a shiny off. Level four? That's pretty good. I think it's like 218. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. 
Okay. 218. Yeah, 218 is like the hunter for Hakuni. Anyways, <clears throat> to continue on, uh, Community Day. So I went out and hunting Community Day, so I was actually happy about my haul. 35 shiny shings. Not counting the six that I had before that, so... <laughs> Over 40 shiny shings in total, anyways. Um, all the shings. All the shings. Crazy, crazy. Dude, I ain't got any Only more stuff. Only shings. Only shings. That's the difference. Some pretty good ones, some pretty not. I think I had a... Somewhere in the ranks. I did actually trade for one today. And I got a third, uh, 14, 14, 14 shiny shing. So I was actually kind of happy about that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Added a trade too. I was like, what the bitch? You know, so... I I'll kept. Some, it. I know. I got one for uh, Ultra League, which is uh, under the 50, I believe. And some other so forth. You know, that was not too bad. But still, you know, shiny is shiny, I guess. <laughs> but... I gotta tell you, like, it was, like, one of my days for shinies, for sure. It's like, I get a, some off shinies, and then I get some new shinies on common days every single time, so... Not sure what it is on that. Anyways, uh, let's go into the perfect shinies, or, hun I'm sorry, hundos. Uh, here we go. Actually, quite quite a bit of hundos this week. I'm happy about that. So As I always. I oh, my gosh. I started off with a hundo Kranidos from a raid... And I was like, I've been hunting for this for a long time. Just because I know he's a good rock-type attacker out there. And I wanted him for a while. So I literally did not even wait. I just evolved it, powered up to level 40, and you know, it's now it's ready to go. Then after that, of course, on probably the same day, I was doing some hunting on uh, Poké Genie. And then my second Cresselia that I get is a Hondo Cresselia. So I'm like... All right, all right. I'm not too mad about that. I don't think it. I think it maxes out. I mean, it's definitely maxes out more than. Mm. Yeah, I think it maxes around like twenty eight hundred. No, thirty. Oh wow, something. a lot higher than that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> for a nine ninety, also for uh, ultra league, so it's not too bad. But still, thirty two thirty with extra large candies. I'm not like superly active getting this extra large candies for this Pokemon anyway, so it's not like I needed it, but I definitely was a nice addition. It's uh, this is one that I actually didn't tell anything about. My friend was doing some trades at work, my co-worker, and then he gets me a Honda Magikar Lucky. <laughs> so I almost got the complete family. I think I just need like one more Lucky Hondo Magikar, so I get a Gyarados and I have like and a Shadow Magic Card Hundo, and then I literally got like a complete family on that. I just need like the Shando or something, and I'll be fine. <laughs> so I got a Hundo, a Hundo sh Shadow, a Hundo Regular, a Lucky Hundo. I need at least another Magic Card, Lucky, sh uh, Lucky Hundo, and then a Shando to complete the family, or a Shadow one too. So, with well, all my luck, it could probably happen, but you never know. So. <laughs> And then today I actually got three hundos from Community Day. So I got the family hundo Shinx finally after literally this many years. So I'm not too shy about that. Every single one of them was a hunt with the community. And I actually have extra large candies to power up almost two of them to max. So that's crazy too. So plus, you know, when you transferred your entire haul of, of, of uh, Shinx through the, during Community Day today, it was just like extra large candy. Like 200. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, crazy. Crazy, crazy. It was a nice event. Nice thing. Uh, I'm tired. Like today, just train me eventually. But the last, the, this last few days has also been tired. And I literally, because of, you know, Brilliant, Lam Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Prone releases, I've been consistently going from work to home, dinner to streaming, streaming to sleeping, and then going back and doing the same thing again for the last three days. So. <laughs> It's, it's been, I barely even had time to actually lie down and, you know, take a nap or something every other day. But, you know, the grind is it's a grind. grind nah. It's a grind. So, it is what it is. But anyways, that is my haul. I'm happy with my haul. This week has been pretty, pretty uh, happy with me. I did actually hatch also a 98 Ryolu, so I'm kind of set. 15 attack. 15, 15, 14. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, but I think I'm gonna wait just a little bit more before I actually power up any Lacarios past the required level. So we'll see how it goes. I'll probably do a couple of trades with my friends around. So anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and just recap one last time the uh, brilliant diamond and shiny pearl event in Pokemon Go. What do you think, Chris? Did you think it was a good event? I feel like uh, we enjoyed it mm. uh, for, you know, non-shiny hunters. I'm sure it's a little bit annoying to see all the, uh, you know, starters with the hats on. Because, you know, every single one you catch, you have to sit through that extra... Uh, transfer notification. Oh, yeah. So I can definitely understand that. Uh, well, you can trans. You, know, you can tra mass from that. You can mass transfer. Uh, yeah. Pokemon's. No, I yeah I get that. I, it's just uh, I know a lot of people get annoyed by that extra little uh, transfer tag. It it wasn't horrible though. I think the spawns were awesome. I like that they had a uh, a little bit of a difference in spawns for each week. That was very cool. Um. I don't know, not, not much else. I, I really liked it. It was a very good event, I have to say. I think, like like you said, the only annoyance is the starters. The only problem with the starters, aside from, you know, seeing that extra notification, which a lot of people just skip, it doesn't even matter. Um, mm. It's the catch rate on the starters. and A lot of the Pokemon, too, though, like Glamio. Things yeah. evil. Yeah, so... <laughs> It takes maybe two or three Pokeballs, uh, maybe one or two Ultra Balls if you are actually like you know grinding enough. The only problem is this is this crash rate on those. It just drains your Pokemons like crazy, especially before Community Day. And Community Day is the day that you need the most Pokeballs and everything. So when you're starting the Community Day with only three hundred of each or a hundred of each or something like that, you're like, uh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, it's just one of those things. Anyways, uh, aside from that, the event actually seemed pretty fun. All the hunts were pretty good. Uh, the day that I got off, which was the day, the big, the very first day of the event, um, I was actually happy because most of this spawned. Like I finished the collection challenge literally the day off, anyways. Um, mm -hmm. Even though the spawns never rotated until the next, until two days later. Um, everything else was pretty good. You know, you see Larvitars and Bacons every now and then. You get to raid for uh, some interesting Pokemon every now and then. I'm still under not understanding why Low Pony and Mega Low Pony had to be in the same tiers. <laughs> the uh, only thing I can think is, you know, if you didn't have enough people to fight the Mega, it's still weird to me, though. Yeah. But uh, in the end of the day, it wasn't too bad. I think, like I said, if, it, if they would have given us, like, that tiny little bit piece and have maybe a one-day raid day for the Alga and Palkia, then I think it would have just made all the better for this game or for this event to go through. Cresselia is not a bad Pokemon, but it's not something we want because the only way to really get it under the great level is to trade them or to get it to research, which is impossible these days. Um, and even if you get one for uh, Ultra League, eh, depending on how well you can actually get it. So... I don't know about that, Chris. Have you any thoughts on the raids? On the raids, uh, I didn't. I didn't really do too many raids, honestly. We did had a couple of, like one star raids that were actually like Kranos. Kranos was actually pretty good. Shield. I was... really wish I did those. Yeah, uh, Shield was also in raids. I wasn't like super happy about it, even though I don't have the shiny yet. But I never really got into one that wasn't like close by anyway, so I only was using the, the free rate pass anyways. Um, but yeah, not too bad of a event either way, so I said, I said 7.5, 8. Yeah, I'd probably give it about that too. I was thinking 7.5. Yeah, because again, it, it, the hunt is, is thrilling, it's just that it's too many sometimes, and... You know, Chris and I, we got two different types of uh, shiny starters, but, you know, to get all six, you really got to grind. And don't get me wrong, I clicked on almost every single one that I saw, so... I can also see how people wouldn't really be into them, uh, just because of the calm days, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you can't evolve them! Yeah, that's the worst part. Like, I had uh, somebody who was playing Community Day today, and they went in for a Hondo Turtuk, and I'm like... Oh, that's pretty cool and everything. And then I realized they had a hat. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. 
no point of going for that when you get ahead, you know? Like, <laughs> you could get it, but I'm like, ah, uh, it's just a, a collection. Oh my gosh, wizard. I got a Shondo. Cannibal. What are you going to do with it? Mm-hmm. It looks pretty. Um, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> just, just, just Little League, just Little League. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that'd be hilarious. But yeah, I say that that's it for that. Now, let's go ahead into the research topics because we got some interesting news to cover this week. And uh, the very first one, Chris, can you make sense of this one? Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know people kind of thought this was weird. A uh, brand new collaboration event with none other than Ed Sheeran. Um, it's very weird collab, honestly. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about it. Well... Let's dive in into this blog post and see what they have stated that's going to happen. So traders, we may have some bad habits, but listening to Ed Sheeran songs isn't one of them. Okay. They're just so perfect. They give us shivers, but enough thinking out loud. Really? <laughs> like- I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> We're excited to announce the, fir- the for the first times ever. What the We'll be collaborating with the Grammy winner song uh, singer songwriter Ed Sheeran. Oh, and I am taking your pumps. Anyhow, it's like Chris with bad pumps every now and then, you know, or cringe pumps. Oh my gosh! <laughs> also, your camera die. So, um, a Pokemon special. No, I'm just thinking. I know, right? A Pokemon Go special performance. So on Monday, that is tomorrow, as the recording this podcast today, uh, November twenty two at eleven a.m. Um, PDSD to Tuesday, uh, November 30th at 1, p- uh, 1 p.m. PDSD. So, um, guess it. This is a one o'clock event for us. Interesting. Okay. Um, a special Ed Sheeran performance will be available through Pokemon Go app. You'll be able to check out these performance and in game news beginning on Monday, November 22 at 11 a.m. PDSD. So, PSD. Um, the performers will feature songs from Ed's new album and more. Songs including, of course, Perfect, Bad Habits, Overpass, Graffiti, Thinking Aloud, First Times, and Shiver. So he's technically releasing like his brand new album through Pokemon Go. And it's kind of interesting to, to hear this, you know? Mostly because... Nobody, Very interesting, yeah. Nobody plays with the music on. Anyways. <laughs> it's because the music is trash. Well, let's see. Maybe this oh music, maybe God. Ed Shadow Music can actually tell us to play with the game music on. Anyhow, a celebration event. So, through those days that I mentioned before, uh, Ed Shadow will always choose Water type Pokemon as his first partner when he starts a Pokemon RPG. In celebration of his this compilation, look forward to an event featuring all of the Water type first partner Pokemon currently available in Pokemon Go. So, oh, oh, okay. So the bonuses <laughs> are. I know, all. Interesting. <laughs> uh, the event bonuses will be, of course, to take snapshots every day for a surprise. So that will be, of course, whatever pops up from uh, your Photoshop, Photoshop thing. Um, newsflash, it's a Squirtle. Another newsflash, it's actually the uh, Squirtle 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 from Community Day almost two or three years ago. It's not exactly Squirtle Squad, but I, I still like it. Okay, Sunglasses Squirrel. Do you want to call it that? Yeah, it's not the same. It's okay. like Shadow Lugia and Shadow Lugia. <laughs> no, it's XD001 in Shadow Lugia, okay? So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I got to correct on that, of course. Anyways, uh, in-game music, Overpass Graffiti will be playing every night in Pokemon Go from November 22 to November 30th. Okay, we know that now. The wall encounters, just like mentioned, will see every single starter currently in the game. So you'll have Totodai, Mudkip, Poplip, and Oshawott. If you're lucky, you might be encountering this, uh, the Squirtle with wearing the sunglasses and Froki. Even though we've seen enough Froki for my lifetime, but anyways. Uh, I feel- calm day yet. <laughs> I know, right? A uh, few riches encounters. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I mention that, all of them can be shiny except for Froakie. Because Froakie is not a shiny yet. 
Um, the following Pokemon will be able to encounter in, uh, when you complete field research tasks. It is the Squirtle wearing the sunglasses. This is nothing new because we uh, have seen that through community today. Um, it's probably just catch a couple of water type Pokemon and just get it anyways. Uh, new avatar items will be available in the shop. Uh, you can redeem the following code for that specifically. So I'll show you guys here. This is the code we're looking into redeeming. And I think a lot of other content creators actually have this too. Not just that one code, but other codes specifically. If you go to the blog post, you can say and you can actually see it. We'll, uh, let me go ahead and just relay it to you guys. It's going to be VV. M87 W G M M U Z H T B 8 X. Uh, just make sure if, if nobody knows, like if not, just check Twitter and you'll definitely get like one of the codes from anybody else. It's gonna be the sweatshirt with a little like equal sign, I guess. <laughs> horrible, <laughs> it's got like a fire design to it or something, right. And there, of course, we what a time team stickers spinning poker stops and opening gifts. So we'll, I don't know, I got like too many stickers. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> uh, and the following box will be available in the shop throughout the event. One time free event box, a lore module, 20 pokeballs, 10 raspberries, and 10 pineapple berries. So get it where you can. And that's pretty much it about this event. Now, let me take, uh, let me intake some, um, Knowledge from you, Chris. Who asked for this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, who um, in the right mind asked for this? Like, what? <laughs> it's so strange. Oh, God. You know, I, I like that they're bringing back Squirtle Squad, if that's what you want to call it. I, I'm just going to call it you know, Glasses Squirtle. But um, I only have one of the shiny because when I got it, I was like uh, on vacation, okay. uh, so I was only able to spin so many stops, you know. Oh yeah. Um, and back then, if you got a shiny from the the stop, it would be shiny for everyone, so yes. people could just call them out and you'd get them. I I didn't know anybody where I was at, so I had to just kind of hunt. Um, I doubt it's gonna be like that this time, so hopefully. Uh, the shiny odds aren't crazy for getting the shiny Squirtle. Right. Um, I just wish everyone luck. Yeah. I do have two shiny uh, Squirtle with the sunglasses. So, well, one of them is a Blasters right now. And yes, this one can be evolved. If you guys don't know, this actually is a Squirtle with a costume that can be evolved to his final form. So... <laughs> Uh, that's not a bad thing to say, but again, it's just interesting that this is the way that they return Squirtle with the sunglasses at the end of the time, after such a long time, you know. Um, they're working on big things, I can tell you this much, but they, weren't we supposed to have an event for the mis uh, for the end of the season of mischiefs? You mean, um, for Hoopa? Yeah. The Hoopa Hoopla? Yeah. Um, I think they said that should be coming up. I don't know if that's before or after Shurinda. I think that this... Because this goes until the end of the month. And I thought that... Listen, isn't the season reset for Go Battle League in seven days? Yeah, seven days and 18 hours. Huh. For Go Battle League. So the only thing I can think is maybe they're waiting till after the GBL season to introduce the new Hoopa. Uh, That's the only justification I can see. I don't know. Let me go back to uh, the news lecture for November events. Speed, speed, speed. So it says right here the season of mischief. We'll close out with an epic event from November 26th to November 29th. So, November 26th is only five days away. So, we literally will only have one week for this event while we listen to Ed Shredder for the entire week, for the entire duration of the month. Hoopa hmm. literally destroying the world with his rings. It's definitely I'm in love crossing with the shape the... of you. Can, you. can you. Okay, so can you imagine? And this is actually going to. 
what Niantic's new goal is with the whole metaverse or whatever is going to happen in these days, or light lightverse or whatever their contribution to AR is. Can you imagine that if they do that kind of story, they use Hoopa to be able to bring in other types of characters and stuff from the main series game for that reason? Like an actual Pokemon multiverse and we're in the center of it just because it's a real world game? I dig it, but I, I there's a few problems with that. Okay. That like there, There's a few uh, that just pop up in my head. One, I feel like people would... Uh, be like, oh, they're taking it from Marvel. <laughs> hmm. They're taking it from Spider Verse. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, uh, Simpsons did it first. Uh, but um, hmm. other than that, I, I don't, I don't know. It, it just seems like I, I don't like to hype up things too much, and then be let down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. I, we we can hope they do stuff like that. I I really like the kind of lore they kind of tried to add where Hoopa was the one bringing in all the legendaries though, like with all the eggs. I thought that was really cool. What I don't understand is, is it all supposed to be one Hoopa all over the world? Like Santa Claus? Is, is that, is that what we're supposed to believe? I mean, Hoopa can actually literally bring anything from his ring. So yeah, he can be Santa Claus. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just going to be an interesting thing to to hear and say. They're kind of like turning in this event with Ed Sharon at the end of the month until we hear anything. Now, needless to say, we'll probably have our uh, dump of news for December, maybe by the end of this week, definitely. So, because the end of the month is literally in a week and a half, seven days, technically seven days for the game. Um... Mm. But yeah, that definitely is something that we were not expecting. Nobody actually never asked for this. The only reason I can see it actually happen, uh, why it's happening is because uh, there's a lot of things going on with the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. And we're only like less than a month and a week or so left before that actually ends, before the 25th anniversary completely, you know, changes to now the 26th anniversary, but you know. So... <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is interesting to say how somebody Niantic said, let's go ahead and put Ed Sharon into the game and somebody actually agree. So <laughs> I, I want to know how they came up with the idea for the collab. I don't know. Like, like, was it Ed first or was it Niantic first? I think it's Pokemon <laughs> proper first. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So and that mostly because we kind of seen like other... Pokemon related music musicians actually come out with their songs for it. So it's not a bad thing to say, but it's still interesting because we never seen something like this in the 25 years we ever played this game. So and the five years we ever played this game. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm very hopeful. Uh I mean good music would definitely improve uh the gameplay of Pokemon Go, honestly. Yeah. Even definitely. though, you know, it gets kind of annoying to listen to stuff while you're playing sometimes <laughs> i know right so with that being said we'll definitely keep you guys excited how everything goes through uh thank you very much for everybody joining us on the stream here uh mr green beast thank you so much paper cuts manny and uh mister thank you so much all right so let's get into the other piece of news and this one is a little more interesting and more pokemon go related if to say the least. Um, what is the next piece of news, Chris? Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I saw this. It's something we wait for every single year. Uh, it's been getting a lot more interesting uh, recently. We have the December Community Day uh, that's going to be featuring familiar Pokemon from 2020 in 2021 and if if you can uh do some math i think there's gonna be a year missing right a year missing yeah 2019 or did we not have calm days then we had calm days since 2018 2018 sure <laughs> 
my co-host here, somebody who played since day one and doesn't remember 2018 calm days. Anyways, <laughs> as we say goodbye to 2021, we'll look back at the Community Day events that we shared together. So, the final Community Day event news is here. We know what they're going to give us, and this is what we're going to have. So, starting on Saturday, December 18th from 11 to 5 p.m., and Sunday, December 19th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. So two days, just like any other December Community Day. The bonuses we're going to have for this for this Community Day weekend uh, will have a instance activated during the last will last three hours, half hash distance when eggs are placed in incubators, two times scar, uh, t Stardust, and lower modules to three hours, and two times cash experience. So I'll definitely be grinding two days worth of experience because I need the experience for this. <laughs> Um, when we also have special bonuses. So from Friday, December 17th at 1 p.m. local time to Sunday, December 19th at 12.59 p.m. local time. To celebrate the, the last Community Day event of the year, two additional bonuses will be available all throughout the weekend. 25% reduction in Stardust costs for trades and one extra special trade per day. So if you want to make sure you want to do special trades throughout the weekend, you get four special trades out of the two. Well, actually, no. Six trades because it starts on Friday. So make sure you get those trades ready to go if you know what I mean. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> there is, of course, a Pokemon storage and item cap, uh, item back cap increase. Uh, this actually happened this month, too. We had another 500 spaces into the into our uh, storages, but throughout the December and for Community Day this time around, we'll have an increase from 5,000 to 5,500 storage in Pokemon's, and 4,000 to 4,500 in item bag. I'm sure Chris is delighted to buy more storage. Yeah, I I bought uh, one of both so far. Yeah, well, buy more. <laughs> no. Yes. The following Pokemons will be featured throughout the community days of 2021 will appear more frequently in the wild. All Pokemons below will be attracted to incense and lurch regardless of what they it is. So the, no matter what it is, you will be able to get either one of them. So on Saturday, we'll see more Machop, Roselia, Swablu, Gibble, Snipe, uh, Snivy, and Fletchlin. Not too bad, those ones. And appearing more frequently on Sunday will be Eevee, Duskull, Shinx, Tepic, and Oshuot. I like day one better than day two. I can see that. Yeah. The only reason I like day two is because of Eevee. Everything else yeah, is same. like, mm, don't need anymore. But, you know, especially the Shinx, since I already got so many today. <laughs> oh, interesting enough, Eevee cut during this event will last, uh, will know last resort. Eevees, but not the evolutions. Yeah. Uh, in eggs from hatching from two kilometer else, we'll have Charmander, Weedle, Abra, Ghastly, Rhinehorn, Magikarp, Porygon, Electkit, Magby, C Dot, Piplop, and Bedoo. All of the 2020 Community Day Pokemon will be only be in eggs. So don't expect anything less than that. Nothing to say about that, Chris? I, I have something to say after we. Uh, go through all the Pokemon that are available. Okay. But, yeah, not not really anything to say there. Day okay. one is definitely better than day two, pretty much, though, except for the Eevee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for raids, we'll have the 2020 Community Day Pokemon appearing in raids. So all the ones I mentioned through the eggs will be appearing in um, raids, except for Badoo, I believe. Yeah, for except for Badoo. So Badoo can only be hatched. Which I really don't need any more shiny Bidus anyway, so there's no difference at that point. <laughs> um, plus the rays are really not nothing to scut off anyways. Maybe a magic are here and there, but that's about it. As for the exclusive moves, well, we'll have all of the Pokemon's exclusive moves from 2021. Uh, but it looks like we'll also have the exclusive move for 2020. So Charizard, Beedrill, Alakazam, Machap, Gengar, Gyarados, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Shift3, Altaria, Apollyon, Luxray, Rosidray, Marchup, 
Carm Chubb, <laughs> Riperior, Electabiot, McMortar, Lafion, Glacian, Porygon Z, Doxnor, Superior, Ember, Samurai, Flareon, and Sylveon will all have their a community day from 2021 and 2020. So, dude, I didn't know you were a rapper. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> I don't want to. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so all of the Pokemons, when you evolve it to this last form, all the way from Friday to Sunday, you'll be able to get their exclusive day, community day Pokemon moves. So save those up, ready to go. Make sure you're ready for whatever Pokemons you missed out on the last few community days for that reason. So uh, we also have a special research story for December Community Day 2021. Of course, it is the $1 bundle. Exclusive research story for Community Day, December 2021. I guess they don't want to name this one. What? Yeah, how does that work? Because usually we get uh, pretty much one of each Pokemon. Well, something they did last year is that you just have to catch like 15 of each Pokemon then of the typing of of the year of celebration. So... If it's 2021, we'll have to catch like 15 Eevees, 15 uh, Fletchlings, uh, 15 Gibbles, things like that to be able to complete the special research story. So maybe that's what they're hoping for, but we don't know until we see it. <clears throat> uh, we also have time research. Uh, the time research will be available from December 18th to December 20th. And the task will be focused on all Pokemon that be featured in Community Days over the past two years. Wait, I'm sorry. Do you mean to tell me that I actually have to look for every single one to complete the time research? Even the ones in Rays from 2020? Right. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, that's going to be interesting for sure. Um... On Friday, uh, so starting on Friday, December se- uh, uh, December 17th at 10 a.m. to Monday, December 20th at 10 p.m. Lo- or 10 a.m. local time. I'm sorry, PDS, P- PSD and equivalent to it. Uh, if we complete certain field research tasks to earn Mega Candy from the following Pokemon. So we'll have Charizard, Beedrill, Gengar, Gyarados, and Altaria Mega Energy on field research. So that's actually kind of nice. Uh, especially for people who has not been able to do a lot of raids for those specific Pokemon, so I yeah, don't need the last two. I kind of need. I don't need Beedrill though. <laughs> uh, event bundles. So we have uh, a couple of bundles happening through those days. The special one-time purchase uh, community day bundle with, uh, for twelve eighty coins, featuring fifty Ultra Balls, six Star Pieces, an LATM, and at least Charge CM, and then a, f- a free Ultra Box. Bundle with 30 Ultra Balls. Three Ultra Balls. Sorry, I'm already tired as it is. <laughs> uh, and that is it. This is our news for December, or at least our community day news for December. What do you think, Chris? I think it's very, very cool. I always like this community day because, you know, if you had to miss out on one for any reason, they give you a whole weekend. Uh, to evolve whichever uh, ones you have. So, you know, if you got a rank 1 PvP or a Hondo, or even just a Shiny that you really like, um, you know, get ready to evolve them. I definitely recommend uh, getting one of each of the Evolutions with their special moves. Um, I think uh, Sylveon and Umbreon are probably the most notable, and uh, Vaporeon's kind of cool with Scalb. Um, but yeah, you know, get what you want. I uh, know it's going to be very fun. I, I don't think it's as crazy as the past ones. Uh, but my main thing, the only thing I really don't like is uh, the way they split up the Pokemon. Uh, mm-hmm. Where you have to uh, raid for specific ones. You have to hatch for specific ones. I wish that they were just all in the wild. I, mm-hmm. I would I would really like that. But, uh, you know, it it is going to be a fun event no matter what. You can't really... You can't really choose everything. I guess it would be kind of a huge jumble if they were all in the wild. Yeah, it would definitely be a huge bundle if they were. My concern is that time research. They said that it's going to feature every Pokemon in both years off, and some of them are only available in raids. So, 
And that's gonna be interesting. They're gonna make you use your passes. Well, they better give me more passes then, because uh, that's gonna be a lot of raids to go through. Especially yeah, if you remote for some of them, anyways. It's gonna be a grind mostly because of that, but anyways, yes, uh, this is a uh, one last ditch chance to be able to get both 2020 and 2021 uh, exclusive Pokemons. When it comes to always having this type of uh, event at the end of the year, it's kind of helping us out from the previous year. So if it would have been 2019, we will have Pokemons from 2018. If it would have been 2020, we would have Pokemons from 2019, and then so on and so forth, just like this year. So, mm -hmm. in the end of the day, it is a new, uh, not really new, but more like a, a nice little final ditch effort to get what you want, if you can get it. So, uh, I'm definitely hunting a couple of things. I'm not hunting for everything, just because, I mean, I already have so many of every single one of them at this point. So, <laughs> uh, I just need a couple of extra things, and then maybe some extra moves here and there. I'm definitely glad about the magic art, but that's because I... Never really care about magic back in the day, so. <laughs> and you can never go wrong with Shando's Eevees, please. <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, yeah. So that is our December news outlet. So, or at least our December community day. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, that's all we have for news. I definitely think that we're probably going to hear more news in the coming days just because... You know, Thanksgiving is coming, the end of the month is coming, and we're definitely going to have our news before anything else happens. I'm pretty sure that, you know, we're into twenty two or uh, November 21st, and the whole Hoopa thing happening on the 26th, so that's five days from now. They really got to give us those news, like, right here and then anyway, so we'll probably have the news by maybe tomorrow, most likely, because Niantic likes to tease us until the end of the week. Um, so by the time those news comes out, we'll have that event up and running by the end of the week and we'll be able to talk about it, uh, by the time the next podcast comes out, which if you guys don't know, this is our not yet podcast that have been released since we started, uh, this, uh, Jumbo Luted co-hosting and everything with me and Chris here. Um, it's amazing. To say the least, that we have been going on for 90 weeks, technically 90 weeks, a little bit more than now and then, but it's amazing. It just keeps on growing, right, Chris? Dude, the game is insane how much it tries to shove in to the December calm days, I swear. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, it's one of those years, as you guys know, but... And we'll probably also have all our December news by the time this next podcast comes out, just because we are so close to it, and they definitely want to tell us what we're going to get for everything December-related news. And, of course, New Year's, because New Year's and Christmas is the second best holiday of the year. Mm -mm. Not counting ha Halloween, but you know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, with that being said, let's move on to some action PvP section here. Get good, get right. Here we go, Chris. Uh, all right, so Go Battle Day was yesterday. Any news on that, Chris? I didn't do, like, any battles. Oh, Chris. I, I did a few. Oh. I don't know. I've, I've been very disheartened by uh, GBL. Really? I don't know. Like sometimes I just get completely kicked out of a match, and I don't know. It, it just puts me in a bad mood for doing any other sets. Hmm. Um, but still pushing. Um, love Canta Cup. Um, you you still do uh, Master League, right? Yeah, I still do Master League, which actually got me to rank ten, which is the. Um the rank that I need for level 50. So I'm set to go. Yeah. I just need the experience and the catches. The catches will definitely come as the weeks come and the grind comes. So uh, it's just all about the experience at this point and then just making sure that I get all the experience that I need. I am a little more than 5.6 mil experience right now. So definitely still a ways ahead to get to level 50, but little by little, you know. 
I don't know if I'll yeah. get it before we actually get our 100 episode of podcast. 10 weeks of grinding can actually go a long way. But we'll have in a couple of extra uh, experience events in the coming days will be nice. I also reached 7 million experience or 7 million starters, actually. Noise. Yeah. I actually had a little bit more, but, you know, I power up a couple of uh, Lux, Lux rays around the area, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so go battle day. Uh, I don't know. It's been kind of interesting how Niantic has handled Go Battle League. A lot of people are actually changing their ways, and some people are finally reaching the top. Some people are kind of quitting it. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the community is kind of split at this point, I feel like. But that's just my take on it. I'm not sure if everybody is, but nobody's really doing it to be the very best these days. And that doesn't feel like to be the very best these days anyway. So. Anyhow, um, factions, what we got? Uh, it was a very hard week uh, versus weekend at Burmese. Um, ended up, well, right now, the score is uh, 13 to 5. We have the 5. Uh, so we did take a loss. Uh, I ended up getting a 3 0'd. Um, I'm very disappointed because I meant to uh, switch one Pokemon on my team that I think would have made a big difference. Uh, but, you know, you can only look forward. So I'm very hopeful. That uh, for the next bout, uh, we all do a lot better. I, I, it, I, I don't know. I, there's something about getting three owed that uh, really, really puts you in a bad mood. But um, very good battler, so uh, is very tough. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll uh, try to you know do better next bout. All right. All right, so just a hard week overall in the end of the day, you know? Yeah, yeah it's, it's tough. That's interesting. That's good, though. Uh, again, it's all about learning experience, but mm -hmm. you never know until you, your teammates do better and things like that, so you can do better, too. <laughs> all right, so with that being said, I don't think I have anything else. You have anything else for me, Chris? No, no, I, um, no, I think we covered everything. Yeah, so one last little thing that actually was mentioned maybe at the beginning of this podcast or at the end is that Lux Race Mood Pool or Leaked TM Mood Pool for Psychic Fan has been added to the code already. So you, if you didn't actually TM it in the last two hours today, uh, then you still have a chance to get it if you want to do an Elite TM. Just wait for December before you think of doing it anyway. So uh, that's a little piece of use. I went to Twitter just when you were talking and I kind of seem to saw that from Pokeminer. So interesting enough. Anyways, thank you so much for listening, everybody. I appreciate it very much that you're all here to watch us rant about this game, even though it, I'm very, very tired and I'm literally going to go to bed after this anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you want to listen to uh, the podcast services fees, we are an Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Arha Radio, and all those podcast services fees. If you can leave us a review, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, follow our, our myself and Chris on our social medias. Myself at Pure Let It Go, Chris at PKMN Trigger Please. You can always email us any info or any if you want to tell us about your day at the Purify Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, and don't forget to check us out at the purifypodcast.com, the professor network. With that being said, Chris, I think you can take us for the night, please, because I want to go to sleep. All right. All right. Uh, hope you guys have a fantastic time whenever you're listening. Uh, let us know if, uh, there's a specific Pokemon that you're going to be hunting for, for the December comm day. Uh, I'm, I personally think I might be going for Magikarps because I accidentally deleted my rank to Ultra League Magikarp for that calm day. Ow. Uh, but Ow. yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Uh, peace out. Keep grinding. Keep verifying them. We will see you guys next week.